What is up guys, it's the Sound Alchemist, part of One Mind Syndicate, and today we're back to talk about Warhammer 40k. So it's been quite a while since I've been able to talk to you guys. Life has taken me all over the place, but I'm back now and I'm here to talk about a bunch of reveals that we have for Warhammer 40k in particular, as well as Horus Heresy. So I think the biggest one is that of the Leagues of Voltan. They basically have their whole model lineup revealed. They have their codex leaked, unfortunately. So we know exactly how and what models you're going to be able to use on the tabletop and how they play. So before I go into reviewing it and checking out everything entirely, let's go ahead and check out the preview trailer that shows the entire fully painted line of the Leagues of Voltan. So that was a pretty cool trailer. You see some, I wouldn't say awesome animation, but it's animation nonetheless. With that being said, let's go and dissect everything piece by piece, starting with the Hecaton Land Fortress. So this is their signature combat vehicle, a heavy support tank that has a capacity to carry 12 models. So yeah, it's pretty much a land raider, and you can see the heavy weaponry that you can fire from there, missiles, um, magna rail cannon, conversion beamers, like yeah, this is going to be, if you need to put the, the, the hearthkin warrior somewhere, this is your go-to. Now let's go to the HQ choice, Uthar the Destined. He's basically the most accomplished hero of the Greater Thurian League. He is a ruthless warrior armed with a masterfully wrought weapon, the legendary blade of the ancestors. And he looks pretty cool. Uh, you can see his head is all like scaled, I guess, because I'm pretty sure those aren't um, scars or like cuts or anything like that. It's based on like the clone skins that they have to adapt to their environments. And you also see the other option that he has for the head, which in my opinion is better. It looks more, um, I guess you could say dwarven. If you guys have seen the first couple episodes of the Rings of Power for the Lord of the Rings series on Amazon, they, it reminds me of like the, the, the helmet, the armor that the dwarves were wearing, except with the beard. So maybe you can just get some green stuff and uh, sculpt yourself an iron beard. Because, you know, why not? <laughs> they're squats, they're dwarven, they should have beards, right? Surprisingly, most of them don't from what I've seen. But uh, the option is there. Next up, we have the other HQ option, the Einheer Champion. Which is just like your generic HQ choice. Uh, gives you options as to what to wield in combat. Whether it's a power axe, a thunder hammer... And then you got this awesome gauntlet that serves as a battering ram. 
<laughs> so that's pretty cool. I really do like this model more so than the champion. Um, if it was me, I'd swap out the, uh, the head because I'm never one to wear an armored head. And then we come to the Brokeer Iron Master. So these are like the techno uh, priests, the, the, the artificers of the Leagues of Votan, and they have the Ironkin Assistance. So basically, if anything goes wrong to any type of armor or vehicle, these are the guys to help repair them. On top of that, they're pretty powerful when it comes to close combat. As you can see, they wield like thunder hammers and whatnot. And then we come to my favorite model of the line so far, the Grimnir. This is the ancestor that guides the Leagues of Voltan towards wisdom. He is the conduit between Kin and Voltan. So basically, he reaches into the warp and he figures out what exactly the Voltan, the STC construct, has in mind and how to incorporate psychic abilities as well as clone skins. Not just that, but like look at his uh, men of iron that he's got with him. The intricate designs look pretty cool. Um, he got probably just like heavy vultures or whatever. But the sculpt himself is really badass. I could easily see a conversion or not even converting it. This guy could work really well for like D&D &D games for like a wizard. Um, it, it, I just love everything about it. The Sithonian Berserk Mole Grenade Launcher. What a mouthful. So this is a Sithernian Berserk, but more towards the firepower instead of close combat. So it's a range specialist. However, if you see the other model on here, the Ironkin, he's got some big ass axe. So I'm pretty sure you could also bring that to the table to fight. Um, but yeah, basically they have repurposed mining equipment to blow apart the competition. And then we come to that box set that I was talking about previous that you can purchase. So basically what you can find in here, you have Uthar the Destined, the named character, but of course you could also run him as some other champion. You have three Hernkin Pioneers, which are the hover bikes, 20 Hearthkin Warriors, which you can use as one big glob of 20 or two squads of 10. And there you go, you've got a patrol detachment just like that. So I think this is a pretty good start. You don't really have any heavy support or anything like that, but if you want to see and feel how the kin play the Leagues of Voltan work on the tabletop, this is a very good start. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I for one always say get the codex first and then make up your mind from there because you get to read the lore, see what options are available, how many points certain models are, create an army, before you buy the models so that way you're not spending extra cash on units that you may not like the feel or how they play so yeah definitely check out the leagues of voltan codex which like i said earlier has been spoiled online so i'm pretty sure you can see anything and everything you want to learn about them before even purchasing the codex itself now when can we purchase these models well at the time of this recording they are the next codex slash army to be available so probably within the end of the month they'll be available for pre-order um, which won't be much longer and it's funny because you know the leagues of votan are this the brand new army for warhammer 40k and they come out before the astro militarum which if you're a guard player yeah it kind of sucks to be waiting so long to play your new units your new rules and I mean, by the time you get your new rules and whatnot, they might be a new edition coming out. So, <laughs> yeah, GW kind of sucks in that way. Where if you want to play the Leagues of Voltan, you'll probably have like a few months to play them before they get revamped in 10th edition. But let me know your thoughts on these new models. Let me know your thoughts on the Voltan themselves. Do you like the look of them? Do you like how, you know, squatty and powerful they are? Do you think it's just power creep? So that you guys can buy this overpowered army and it for, to get nerfed later on uh, but yeah i like it it's a very i wouldn't say unique but it mixes a few themes of 40k to be something different uh, in my opinion the leagues of voltan remind me of a mix between tau and space marines but that's just me let me know your thoughts down below and i'll see you guys tomorrow for more 40k stuff 
As always, we do have social media to supplement the YouTube channel. So check us out on Facebook. Check us out on Twitter because I post each and every day on there. So if you want a little bit of extraness to this 40k awesomeness that you guys love, check us out. And don't forget, guys, that we currently are being sponsored by Audible. Audible is a service where you guys can read audiobooks, but not just that. You guys can also check out Audible exclusives, comedy shows, podcasts, like the list goes on and on and on. So there's a link down below. Uh, click that link, get your one month free tri trial. You get a credit to use for anything you want on the site. And as always, guys, this has been the Sound Alchemist part of One Mind Syndicate, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Oh, <laughs>